IWF Atlanta 2024, day two, and I'm with the uh, head of marketing, Hop Styles Cameron. How are you doing? We're doing great. Having a great day here at day two at IWF 2024, and we're excited to uh, meet some more people. Tell me, what's new on the show floor? So what's new on our booth here, we're really focused on our automated cell. Uh, we're really showing some of the advancements in, uh, in manufacturing and production, uh, starting with our flex tech, um, all the way to our robotic solutions with our partner, Automatech Robotics. Uh, there's a significant focus on digital solutions in our software. Uh, as you might see behind me, our digital hub is where we've got all of the, uh, the latest software solutions that we have, and we know it's continuing to grow in our industry. And so we've got a large focus on it here at, at the show. Okay, how this digital hub is helping the customer? So the digital hub uh, is helping the customer. Uh, is a place to learn more about the different uh, digital solutions that are out there. Uh, it's a chance to understand a little bit more about uh, the different varieties, uh, depending on where you are um, as a as a manufacturer, whether you're just getting started or whether you're a you know very advanced shop that is looking to uh, further become more efficient or gain other efficiencies uh, throughout the manufacturing process. So in that hub, we have not only um, all of our experts in there to be able to showcase all the software solutions. Um, all of our partners are here to talk through the solutions as well. Uh, but beyond that, we've got our IBP software, uh, which allows us to look at uh, 3D renderings uh, and models of machinery that we don't have on the floor. So if you aren't able to see the exact uh, configuration of the machine that you wanted to, uh, we have all that located in our digital hub so that you can see 3D models of what that would look like with all the different uh, configurations in there as well. Well, Cameron, do you have a mobile application where, where a user can monitor the machine and they can check the status of the machine? Yes, yeah, we do have some uh, some mobile applications uh, through our Tapio um, options as well as our, uh, our digital factory solutions. Um, again, our digital team's here to be able to speak through those a little bit more deeply, more detailed, but uh, we do have uh, those types of solutions to, uh, to offer to manufacturers in North America. Okay, and the last thing is like how you support the service because yes. that's very important for the machine owners and the, for the plant to run smoothly. Absolutely. Uh, service is the biggest part of our business, customer services. Yes. Uh, so we're, we're very focused on having, uh, you know, not only our parts available when you need it, uh, but also having the largest uh, number of field service technicians in the industry. So currently we have over 200 uh, service techs throughout North America. Um, let me say that again. So currently we have over 200 uh, field service stacks throughout the United States, uh, and that alone is the largest in the industry. We know that downtime uh, is no good for anybody, and so our goal is to get our customers back up and running as quickly as possible, which is why we, we have the largest parts inventory. Uh, we've got 24-7 tech support, and then having that all those field service technicians available helps do just that, and that's keep everybody up and running as quickly as possible. Okay, great. So. What's the, what's future? Are you moving? Are you expanding to new area in America? So, uh, kind of in, in moving forward, some of the trends we're seeing, uh, automation is definitely that. Uh, we know the skilled labor shortage continues to be a problem. We do what we can with uh, Styles University as a way to help further educate uh, the skilled uh, to skill trades for manufacturers. But also automation is another another way that that's moving forward. Being able to uh, you know have solutions, whether that's as large as a robotic cell or just having some more ergonomic solutions to keep people from hurting their backs from lifting sheets. So um, a lot of different variations of that, but we're seeing automation as a definite definite trend. Um, anything that we can do to further uh, bridge that gap within skilled labor uh, throughout the industry is where we're focused. Okay. So sustainability is the main focus for all industry and for our machinery industry as well. So what are Styles stands in terms of sustainability? So Styles is, is committed to sustainability, uh, you know, across across the board uh, with all of our manufacturing partners. Um, you know, they they all have specific initiatives that they're involved in to try to uh, further reduce their carbon footprint, and, and we are doing what we can to. Uh, to assist in those measures with them as well. Thank you very much for talking to Wooden Panel US. Great, thanks for having me.